Yep. And there we go. <laughs> that got a little hot too fast. I'm gonna move that battery out of the way. All right, guys, welcome back. CFP here, and this is Survival Living. So today we are outdoors. The reason why we are outdoors, we're gonna be doing a video on surviving outdoors with nothing. All right, there are hundreds of people get lost in the woods every year on a simple nature hike or a film shoot outdoors doing nature films things like that it happens the problem is they're not prepared all right we as preppers we carry gear with us all the time survivalists too we always have something even a knife or a lighter most people do not carry the stuff we carry that's just the facts all right so we have our camera bag here with us as if we're mocked up as someone taking nature pictures that's what we're going to be out here doing, and we're going to be learning how to survive with nothing, just using what we have here. But I mean, we don't even have any rope, okay? So let's go get to it. All right, so we just got a basic camera backpack. We got one 20-ounce bottle of water. Cell phone, because everyone carries their cell phone. A selfie stick with the uh, push button, take a picture. And we've got extra batteries for our camera. And we've got our camera with a lens cleaning uh, cloth here. Make sure we got power. Oh, yeah. All right, so we've got a tree. We've got another tree. We've got sets of woods back there in the back. We've got field insulated materials there. We've got some heavier duty wood back there to help with the structure. That's what we're going to be doing. Now we are starting our structure right here in this nice little cleared out spot. All right, this is where we're going to build a simple A frame just to get us out of the weather. Being exposed to element is what's going to kill you faster than anything else if you're lost in the woods. So you need to build you a shelter first. I know everybody wants to talk about, man, I got to go hunt. I got to go hunt. If you're lost in the woods, you're not hunting. If anything, you're scavenging. All right, you're not the great white hunter. All right, I hate to break it to you. Even the stories of the great white hunter are stories. You will die if you're relying on your hunting skills with nothing. All right. Sure, there are stories of people making flint knives and all that good stuff, taking down a bear. Yeah, whatever. So like I said, shelter first. That is your main priority, is shelter. You've got to get yourself out of the elements. We have a nice day today, a little overcast. Uh, we got some high winds. No big deal, but you don't know what later time is gonna bring you. So shelter first. Next up will be water. Water's your next step after you get elements taken care of. Get your shelter in place. You need to work on finding a water source and getting water. Food, you're going to last a long time without food. Most of your food, if you're in that situation for a very long time and haven't been rescued or found a way out, is going to be grubs, roots, things like that. You're not going to be hunting deer, antelope, bear if you're lost in the woods with nothing. I mean, you could try it. I, you're not going to do very well. You might not make it out. All right, guys. So like I said, we're going to use this tree. All right. Now, in survival, you don't need a huge place to sleep in. You need something small, something that you can keep most of your warmth in. And we're going to go about this high here. This is a natural fork right here in this tree. We're going to slide a spine, just basically a long limb or a tree trunk, whatever it is that you can find. We don't have any tools to cut down any wood. We don't have any sharp rocks to fashion into hatchets or anything like that. So we're just going to use debris, build what we need. <coughs> All right. Set it right in here. All right, now on the end, we're going to dig a little bit of hole out using the heel of our boot just to help keep this in position. We do not need this thing real high up on the ground. All right, we just need something just so we can start our A-frame, start putting our debris in just to get us out of the elements that we can crawl in and stay warm. All 
All right, so we just need something to keep this from rolling around. Luckily for you, I did not put a montage of me laying down every single stick for you. So we're not going to do the same thing with insulation. I'm just going to show you what we're going to use for insulation, and then we're going to put it together. Okay, guys, so we got our bare bones for our A-frame. It's just a simple debris shelter. Now, the bare bones, we just have it so that we can lay our insulation material on top, and then we'll seal it off with a couple more pieces of wood just to keep the material down. Now, as you notice, there's not much of an opening on this end. Let me go ahead and show you what we're working with here because I don't like having multiple openings on a shelter, especially when I'm trying to sleep at night. So we're going to be closing off this end and only having one little small spot to enter at. Okay, so we're right here at the base of the tree. This here is going to get closed off too. And it's only going to be the other side with an opening. So let's go ahead and head this way. All right. So we're gonna finish sealing this up here. And this is gonna be our only entrance in and exit. Now you might be wondering, dude, why you only have one exit? What if you have an emergency? The fact is these debris shelters just stand up. All right, <laughs> they will come apart if there's an emergency. All right guys, so first up, you see this right here? This is what we're gonna be using for our bedding. This is gonna be collected and we're going to put directly into the floor of the shelter. We're going to take part of these sticks out of the way, lay all that down first. So we'll be collecting a lot of this up. This is going to be for insulation, for our bedding only. And then we're going to be moving on to this for the exterior. This is a very fibrous material. It's almost like, well, I guess it is in a way wood. Um, I don't know what type of plant this is, but they grow very tall. And there is a lot of it. So that is going to go on the outside, the exterior for insulation of the shelter. And then once we get it put on, we'll layer it with some more sticks just to keep the wind from blowing it away. All right, guys. So we got this side opened up so you can actually see through here. We've got our bedding down and we've got our debris on the back side there. This side is still open. We still have to finish that. But I want to show you this. So the inside here, let me bring the camera in to show you. There is plenty of room in these shelters. Okay guys, so we've got this shelter in the background here. Again, I apologize for the wind. We got bad windstorm today. All right, next up, water. All right, so we had a 20 ounce bottle of water with us. The next step of survival after you get a shelter in place is finding a source of water. Now we have shown how to find water underground and low areas, places they retain water. So let's, I know there's a water source out here. We're going to go to that and I'm going to talk about filtering out water. All right, so we've got water in the area. Now, drinking this water directly will make you sick. Odds are. All right, this is rainwater that's just been collected on the ground, but it is a source of water, so we can filter it out. Yummy. Now, again, do not drink this water directly. You will probably get sick. So let's talk about some filtration options. All right, guys, so we have the camera inside of the shelter here. Hopefully it helps with the wind. Like I said, it's windy. All right, so this water, guys, this is some nasty looking stuff. You don't want to drink this. All right, but now you can make filtrations with this, all right? to filter out this water. Um, there's plenty of sand filter videos on YouTube. Definitely recommend you uh, check that out. There's actually, looks like algae floating in this one here. All right, so we just recently did a video on making your own charcoal, okay? Charcoal is a great filter for water. All right, but we don't have any way of creating fire out here to make charcoal, now do we? You know, in that video we used a tin to condense everything down so it releases the gases. You can still find charcoal in your campfire that didn't burn off and just break it up all right it takes longer to do but you can do it and you can filter out your water but how are you going to boil water or make a charcoal filter without fire
remember we have a camera okay guys so like we have a camera we have a cell phone inside a cell phone you've got a battery all right you got a battery inside the cell phone you have uh connectors on your cell phone okay teach you a real quick easy trick same with taking your batteries out of your camera now remember we have a selfie stick that has a nice little thin wire set up here so we're going to remove that we're going to skin that back using your fingernails you can remove this rubberized coating very easily okay also if you're going to sacrifice your camera for it there's wires in here too you might have to connect them together to make a long enough wire but basically we are making a jumper now i don't know if this little tiny wire here is going to show up on camera all right but we're going to jump our positive to our negative on our battery which will heat up this wire now remember we have a lens cleaning cloth Usually camera equipment people they got alcohol pads and stuff like that with their cleanse But I didn't have one with me today So we're either gonna try it with our cloth or we'll just take natural debris This right here Wrap our wire around it. So it actually will ignite and we will start a fire Okay, so This wire does get hot. So I'm using two pieces of wood I'm Trying to hold it all together and check my bundle Yep, and there we go. <laughs> that got a little hot too fast. I'm gonna move that battery out of the way. Like I said, we got some high winds here. So we are actually gonna be putting this fire out right now. So now that you got fire created, you can boil water. You can actually use a 20 ounce soda bottle and attach it to a string and dangle it over a fire. Now what will happen is this water, when you take the cap off, will begin to boil. The weight of the water will stretch out your bottle, but it will boil your water. Or you can just do charcoal, pack it full of charcoal and filter it out that way. Either way you have drinkable water. I know drinking from boiled water out of a plastic container, the BPAs, it'll kill you. 40 years down the road, maybe. Uh, but in a survival situation, I want to live today, and I worry about 40 years on down the road later. Now, is it recommended to drink and boil water in plastic? Of course not. But if that's all you got, it might be a good idea to drink from the water. All right, guys. Y'all take care. Speak to y'all later.